and I'm, I don't have black on. It's like, weird. I yeah. really, I feel like we an outcast. It. I usually yeah. feel like an outcast. It doesn't feel like an outcast now. Well, we accept you, Tony. Oh, thank yeah, you. We yeah. do. Welcome. Here we go. And I'm not Tony Hall. You're allowed right. to be with us. I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, thanks for making the time to come here. Thank and you see guys us. for having me. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm very excited because I accidentally discovered you. And how do you accidentally discover someone? I think somebody was like, You see this chick that skates? And I was like, No, nah, show me. And then I was like, Whoa, what happened to her face? <laughs> and someone goes, A dog bit it. And I'm like, What? And then I look at your Instagram and you're like bubbly and like, hey, you know, it ain't so bad. I'm like, wow, that is a really powerful attitude to have when you're such a pretty girl. And then to have that happen to you. Thank you. That it was very inspiring to me. And then the the other bit of you skating, I was like, oh, uh, level wise, doesn't matter to me. It's are you a skateboarder? Do you love skateboarding? And I and it was very obvious from the first video of you skating that you do. To the point where I showed him and he looked at it for like five seconds. It was like, hell yeah, we got to get her on because you're a skater. You can tell. But then your story and your attitude with your story is, is to me, one of the more inspirational people alive today. That means a lot. Thank you. you. Uh, it's not fake. You know what I mean? You're happy and you're you're going to get past it. You know, I feel like you're nothing stopped you. <clears throat> oh. And if anybody had a gripe. It will be you, cause that was some bullshit. Yeah, no, it definitely was. It was, it was a crazy journey. Four. How, how long have you been skating? I've been skating for like four and a half years. That's it. And I got into it because of someone bullying me. Someone fell. Like I was surfing. I was in a surf team, and I watched this guy. Oh, so you can surf? <clears throat> yeah, I surf. Um, surf team, so you can surf good. Yeah, no, I was like on a surf team in high school, and then in high school, like my senior year, this guy was going down the hill, and he like <laughs> ate it like so bad, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna skate better than you. And my mom and dad have been like doing banners and stickers Wait, and everything. So that yeah. guy was bullying you? Yeah. And you watched him eat shit? He ate such bad shit. Like <laughs> you know trestles? I love. I love how that wasn't enough for you. No, no, it like you know trestles like. Oh, like that guy got hurt and then i'm gonna skate better than him it's a skateboard yeah. is that add ins- literally yeah. add insult to injury yeah it was bad but you know like in trestles how have you guys been there surfing mm-hmm. wise you know it's like that downhill and then it goes just like a really hard right down to the beach mm-hmm. yeah he literally didn't go right just went straight through the bushes with his board with a surfboard and like with a surfboard i walked past it and i was like mm. man you know? was a- that was that Immediately after he was bullying you, or he, he had been bullying you. He had been bullying that. me, like it was just like random shit that he would I say. See. Yeah, it was just karma. But anyway, yeah. and now you skate better than him. Yeah, he doesn't skate anymore. <laughs> but yeah, good riddance. Yeah, <laughs> good. <laughs> skate good. Oh, we don't want him. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. See you later. <laughs> it was funny though. But, so yeah. you you were a, a model before all this, like a model, like as in an actress or a model, like just like fashion model like what was your plan i was working for a community college at the time and i was doing it like nine to nine at night and i was like i don't really want to do this anymore and i started like posting my skate stuff and then there were companies like clothing companies like hey do you want to model for us and they were like offering me more money than i was like making like a week working like from nine to nine at night so i was like yeah i'd love to do that um i started doing that and then it was like more fashion companies and then um that was like kind of when I just shifted my whole like perspective. I was like, I'm going to quit this job and see where this takes me. And so I had been doing that for like, I want to say like a year and then the attack happened. Did you move down here for your career? I was up at my parents' house still living there. I moved up to LA and then. Where were your parents living? They live in San Clemente, like. Oh, in Orange County. Yeah, yeah, Orange County. So So you moved to LA with your auntie? No, I moved to LA by myself. I lived in downtown LA, skated a little bit. Um, just was like, Wait, you live by yourself. how old were you when you moved to LA by yourself? Well, this was like after a couple years, I did skip forward. So when I was modeling and stuff, I was still with my parents driving up to LA. If like there was, where's gigs up there or anything. Okay. Yeah. So your it's your auntie that owned the dog, right? Yeah. My cousin. And you stayed at their house? It was in Arizona actually. So not here. Why were you in Arizona? 
it was like during COVID and they were like, hey, if you're bored, do you want to come yeah. by? Like, we're not really doing much. And I was like, yeah, I'd love to. So I got on a flight. I was there for like three days and then the attack happened. Like, it, Had you met the dog prior? Yeah, many times. And it was cool? Very cool. Was not like aggressive at all. And then just out of nowhere. Have they ever had issues with it being aggressive? I asked anyone? and they told me no. So, I mean, like I want to believe that it was no. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, like not to my knowledge. They, no, no aggression prior to the attack. I don't want to get... I don't get into make, it. Okay. Get into it. So, I have like asked me anything. Genuinely. So you're playing with it and it just snapped or. Yeah. I wasn't playing with it at all. Actually. I was like in the kitchen and it was like a kitchen that kind of looked like this. There was an island in it. Um, like the fridge was here. I was standing right here. My cousin was putting like pans away in like the kitchen cabinets behind me and the dog, I was standing up. The dog was sitting down and I was like, oh, you're such a good boy. And I was standing. He was sitting completely down. There was no, like, food bowl next to me, no toy, no, nothing that would have caused him to yeah. be, like, aggressive or, hey, that's mine. Um, and he just, like, I looked back at my cousin and I looked back at him and he literally sprung off the ground and was just hanging off of my upper lip. And he was, like, a hundred-pound dog. Like, he was really thick. So, like, yeah. the split second my, like, fight or flight was, like, get in sumo wrestling position and just hold his head and just go wherever he goes. So like I was literally grabbing his head and just like swing. Why your, like, your lip was still attached. Yeah, it was still point. attached and it had been like going on for like 60 seconds. So I was just grabbing his head and I was like closing my eyes and there was one moment where I opened it and it was just like all teeth and just like gum in my mouth. And then finally after like I said 60 seconds, I finally was able to get him off. And right when I did that, something like fell, like hit the wall and then fell down. And I was like, I stood up and I was like, okay, like I thought, cause I have a really high pain tolerance that I thought he just like latched on and then latched off. I did not think the whole thing was gone. And I like stood up and I was like, wow, like this is the best breath of fresh air I've ever had in my entire life. It felt like someone like shoved dry ice up my nose. It was so crisp and cold. And then I was like, oh, like what is that taste? And I like went like this and it was just all blood. So I was like, oh, like that's not good. You know what I, I was like, yeah. oh. Then my cousin, cousin, I was going to say, your cousin's just standing there watching this, right? Yeah, no, I, she didn't even know what happened because I didn't like scream. I didn't like make any sound. Like I was like, I didn't want to do anything to upset the dog more. So yeah. I kind of just like stayed there. And she was like, I'm telling you, putting paws and pans away, like metal to metal, you know, they're like clanking in the back. Like, um, but yeah, so she kind of like turned around and then it was like, she said some things, won't repeat them. But um, yeah, yeah, I don't know. And then you rush off to the emergency no. room or she was like a lolly i mean i think everyone deals with trauma very differently i'm not gonna like blame her for what happened but there was definitely like a slow response to like how i think a reaction should have been like i grabbed my phone um i don't know if you guys have seen the picture on my instagram but like where my face was just like torn off it's kind of blurred um i accidentally took that picture so i was like getting my phone out to see how bad the damage was because i wasn't by a mirror i wasn't by anything that would like indicate that something had really been wrong and Ugh. i'm telling you like i didn't look at my lip like it was on the ground but i didn't like my brain didn't like allow me to think that that was that you yeah. know um, did someone grab it yeah like at the end yeah but um yeah so i you know so you saw it thing. yeah i saw it through and then my, you go but i didn't know i took that picture so i was like oh my god i need to go to the hospital i need yeah. to go to the hospital and she's like one sec let me call someone i'm not from here i need to call someone i don't know where i'm going and i was like call an ambulance like i need to go to the hospital like i'm gonna faint like yeah yeah i was losing so much blood i was yeah. starting to get dizzy and like my adrenaline was like brooklyn you're fine like just you know you're you're good so i was just hanging on and i was like all right like <laughs> so she was like the hospital's 11 minutes away. Like, I'm going to call someone. And I was like, just get in the car and take me. Like, she had a car. Yeah, she, we had a car. She was just really, like, like I said, trauma. Everyone deals with trauma differently. I think yep. she was really, like, in shock. Where I was like, dude, I got to get to the hospital. Like, I, I need to get yeah. myself, like, situated. But um, I could see being the other person being in more shock than you. They definitely were hundred percent. I know it makes it doesn't that shouldn't add up, but especially I, if they're if if they're the dog owner. Yeah. Right. I think with that type of dog. I don't, also the guilt of. Yeah. I don't, I don't think that. Yeah. There was like stories she used to post a long time ago. Like if you want to get through me, you have to get through my dog. So there was always like that, like a, like badass of the dog type mm. of thing. So um, if that makes sense at all, but yeah, so she finally took me to the hospital and then she's like, Oh, I need to grab something. And I was like, what? 
And then she like took a paper towel and then like literally just scooped my lip. And it was like sitting on her lap, um, like through the car ride. It was an 11 minute car ride and it literally felt forever. I was like, girl, can you please please drive faster? She saw a cop on the side road. She's like, I'm just going to drop you off. I'm like, no, I was like, just, I literally looked at her and I was like, if you don't want to drive, I'm like, switch with me. I was like, I'm going to take myself to the hospital. And like, I just need to go. Could you talk? Yeah, actually I could. yeah. I'm sorry, but no, like, I was could, chewing gum the whole time. I was like what? messing chewing with the nurse. Gum? Yeah, but I swear it helped with my nerves. I don't even know if that makes any sense. Whether you want to get more fit, be a better parent, or get more done at work, there is one thing that will help, and that's better sleep. With Miracle Made Sheets, you can tap into the power of self cooling temperature regulation, which has been shown to improve deep sleep quality by over 20%. Whoa. That's awesome. Using silver infused fabric originally inspired by NASA. Nah, miracle made sheets are thermoregulating and designed to keep you at a perfect temperature all night long so you get better sleep every night. These sheets are infused with silver that prevent up to 99% of bacterial growth, leaving them staying cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. No more gross odors, and uh, I like antibacterial because we deal with a lot of bacteria in the skateboarding realm. Yeah, I'm hideous. Miracle sheets are luxurious, comfortable, without the high price tag of other luxurious brands, and feels as nice, if not nicer, than bed sheets used by some five-star hotels. Clean sheets mean less bacteria to clog your pores and fewer breakouts and other skin problems. With Mother's and Father's Day right around the corner, this is a perfect way to give someone you love the gift of luxurious sleep. Save over 40%. And be sure to use the promo code WOLF. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you'll get a full refund. Go to trymiracle.com slash wolf and use the code WOLF to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off, mate. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash wolf to treat yourself. Thank you, Miracle Made, for sponsoring this episode. So when did the pain kick in? I didn't have any pain. Like right when I got to the hospital, they were like, she needs, well, it was COVID. So I like went outside and there was like an outside check and they're like, what's your first name? I'm like, Brooklyn. They're like, spell it out. I'm like, B-R, I had a rag over my face. Yeah. I'm like, B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-N. They're like, last name? Give them my last name. What's your birthday? They're like, what symptoms are you having? I'm like, none. They're like, what are you here for? And I just like went like this. She was like, oh, okay. Okay, go, 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 go. So yeah. I like walk in, same thing, front desk, same thing. What's your name? Brooklyn. What's your last name? Corey. <laughs> oh I'm like, oh my God. And then finally like a guy came from the back and he's like, Brooklyn. I was like, yeah. He's like, come with me. Like, come with me. He's like, he's like, grab me. He's like, she needs morphine. She needs morphine. And I was yeah. like, no, 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 no. I don't want any of that. Like you guys are going to think I'm psycho. I literally just took Tylenol. Like I l- did not want anything. Like I wanted, because I was alone and I didn't want like anything to happen that I was like not aware of. Yeah. You, know? okay. so, you don't want to be loopy. I, I wanted to be very present and like know what was happening because I guess. I, I can appreciate that. But at some point there is an overwhelming sense of pain. I didn't have any. That, that you must, I can't believe you didn't have it. I mean, yeah. I, I'm a junkie. I would just say, I don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> give me all of it. Oh, that's yeah. like, that's like brutal when, bit me on the finger. I'd be like, give me it all. When I was laying with my broken leg on the ramp and then Kevin gave me two Advil. Yeah, and I was kind of like, I okay, remember. I guess. Uh, yeah, I offered, this should work. I offered you kratom, and you were like, "Will it work?" I'm like, "For that, probably not." <laughs> yeah. So I don't even know why I'm talking. Actually, had you, had you endured any serious injuries from skating before that? Yeah, I broke my tailbone and my wrist, but yeah. both of those were very like tailbone is bad. I've yeah, done that. I know. But, I like, but did you experience great pain with those? No. That's what I'm telling you. So like, you I have crazy very, pain tolerance. I have very, like when I broke my tailbone, I remember I like, I fell on it and I was like laughing and then I went to stood up and I was like, oh shit, that like, that kind of hurt, you know? Yeah. And then I knew something was wrong, but it didn't, I wasn't like, oh my God. Like, I was like, oh, I should probably get this checked out. And then with my wrist, <laughs> like same thing, like fell on my wrist. I automatically knew I broke it. My friend was like, just put like CBD oil, like you'll be fine. Shit, I was like, right. I'm going to check this out. And yeah. Mm. So with both those things, like I felt the pain, but it wasn't like super bad. But this one, fighter. this one didn't add up to that pain that you felt. This with the was other different injuries. because I think I was like, like I was in shock to a certain extent, sure. but I had sure. so much adrenaline that I was just like, yeah. I think feeding off of that. Um, yeah, like even when I went into the first surgery, like I was waiting in the hospital for, like I got transferred to like another hospital after like being at that one for like four hours. And then I had to wait at the other hospital for like six hours. Because I had to get somebody who's yeah. a plastic surgeon. Did, right? a plastic was, there, surgeon. was there ever 
discussion of, of putting your lip back that, that they found? I honestly thought like I was just going to go in there. They're going to be like, all right, we'll put you in surgery and like just sew it back on. Sew back on. And my doctor now was like, I would have done that 100%. But I think like surgeons are just different. And but was it, I mean, we're already into it. So yeah, was go. it mangled? Oh, meaning what? Oh, you haven't. Oh, you the, mean the bit, the piece? The, the piece of, yeah, the lip that she picked up. Yeah, I think it was very, like, it should have been on ice right away, and I don't think it was until, like, 40 minutes very, after. So yeah. had it been on ice, like, I I think that they could have reattached it. But, I mean, I was in the room, and like, alone, because it was COVID, and, like, my I was literally Ugh. sitting next to this, like, tray, and my lip was, like, in this little pee container. Just I was just staring at it, and I was, like, it was just such a trip because I was, like, wow, I'm literally here, and, like, that's, all, that's a so part traumatic. of me. You can't, <laughs> yeah, you can't get any more. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> We're done. <laughs> I guess maybe that, that was it. That's why you're not feeling pain. It was all too traumatic to feel pain. Did you maybe. think you were going to die at all? No, jeez. No. Not at all? No, not at all. Not the bleeding out thing or nothing? No. Okay. No. Would you in that situation? I feel like a certain amount of blood comes out of me. I start to think about that. <laughs> Yeah. 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 The visual of it. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that. I think that was probably like the worst part for the nurses. But like even then they're like, oh, I haven't seen such a bad. They were like so intrigued by it. Like I had a nurse was like, can we take a picture of you? Like we have a group chat with like the worst. Can you? I, no. I was no into way. it. I was into it. Yeah. You said yes. Hell yeah. Go send that. They must have just sensed your attitude. Right. I was joking with the nurse like. And she was so funny. Her name was Lisa. Like, if she's out here listening, thank you for being you. Um, I literally was, like, laying on the bed, and the animal patrol came in. And they were like, <laughs> excuse me, were you the one that got attacked? And she's like, no shit. She's like, come on. Like, what a dumb question. Like, was so, like, just like. Oh, yeah. What? So what happens to the dog? Yeah. So he, like, got locked into the closet after attacking me. Then we went to the hospital. And then the animal patrol came in, like, four hours later. Um, asking me questions and I told my cousins like I was like being very honest like I am a dog owner like I have a dog um, I was like hey if you want to keep this dog alive that that's on you but like don't ever show this dog to like a fucking soul because like if it could do what it did to me mm -hmm. and it would happen to someone else like that would be not not the best so mm -hmm. um, they didn't feel comfortable keeping the dog alive I gave them full control of what they wanted to do um, but Animal Patrol in the state of Arizona at the time was like, you don't have control over the situation. Like we have to to euthanize the dog. Right. Um, yeah. So. And I've heard some people have a bad attitude towards you when it comes to that. Yeah. So I would like to clarify that. I mean that, but that as far as and I'm I'm not I'm not a legal expert, but from what I've heard, when something like that happens, that's the default. Yeah. They, they put the animals right. down. Yeah. Right. I mean, like legally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they it's like different, in, I guess, yeah. in every state. I think uh -huh. there's like a three strike warning, which if this was its first strike and it took my lip off, I couldn't imagine like what oh, another. It's so scary, I yeah, it is very scary. Because yeah, if it was your neck, you're dead. Exactly. And it was it was like trying to pull me down to that too. Right. Like it was grabbing my face and it kept like yanking me down. And I was like, oh, I didn't want to like scream God, or do anything dude. to like upset him more. But yeah, it I mean, there's a lot of people that are super mad that it it that it was the breed that it was and Right, but you're not saying that I'm not people saying aren't allowed to have this breed of dog. You're saying that it just so happened to be that breed of dog that right. bit my face off. Yeah, and even so then, so everybody are who's an so owner mad. of a pit bull, don't DM me or her <laughs> about <laughs> this. Some this shit. just happened. It happened. Like, yeah, because we're stating we're, facts. Yeah, we're not trying to get them. Yeah, and we're, that's the thing. Like, just a story. That's what it, it happened. Yeah, and I'd never been like. F pit bulls, like right. that, that breed sucks. I was literally just like, it was a pit bull. Had it been a Chihuahua, had it been a Doberman, had it been any other dog, I would have said that it was that because that is literally the facts of yeah. what happened. And you so. are entitled to tell your story. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. So I don't believe that I have crazy. to say what that. What happens but. then? So you you go to an emergency, they're yeah. taking photos, you're joking around, yeah, your lips I on was, the table. I was chilling. I had the same piece of gum that like went through the attack <laughs> oh that was my, that was in you? my mouth and like <laughs> literally uh, was, that is the like, punkest thing i've that, ever heard right <laughs> it is we, right? Hear, we hear some crazy stories from skaters and from being on the show yeah yeah we both you, know matt hoffman and you're yeah you're that is, winning that is, right now yes, absolutely. talking about a guy that oh. flew to another country and was like i don't want any anesthesia so that i could watch you drill into my knee or, or oksana <laughs> oksana master is with right there you go who had you know, limbs that don't work and just has like multiple surgeries a year and is an Olympian. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, I don't know. It. I feel like when something like that happens, you're kind of just like going through it. Like I think there's definitely people that react very differently, but I was just like, what am I going to do? Like I, 
I cannot control the situation, so I just have to like go with it. And it's a very it. resilient attitude. Do you yeah. have relatives that you think you got it from? Like my dad. It, you, he's he, from Lebanon. I think he's seen like a lot in the world. So and it rubbed off on you. Yeah, definitely. So I, I have the experience of seeing my dad get hurt. Like mm -hmm. my dad did a lot of woodwork stuff. Yeah. And he would mangle his finger on things and just be like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> It's oh, fine. annoyed by it. And I remember seeing that as a kid going, I guess that's how you deal with it. Yeah. And that's yeah, pretty much too. how I my, learned to deal with it. I don't know if I would have been on your level, but. No, but like growing up, my mom was very like, she rode dirt bikes and was like always racing yeah. against boys at the time because there was no like girls league. Like she was like a hard ass. Like she was super cool and like would just do dumb shit all the time. So I think like her daredevilness rubbed off on, mm -hmm. on me, but like my dad's carefulness rubbed off on me at the same time. But like not to the point where I like don't do d like dumb things, but. To the point where I'm like aware of the consequences, mm -hmm. but I'm still going to do it. Does yep. that make sense? Yep. You're but talking I, to the right people. Yeah, trust me. yeah, exactly. So I feel like with my dad, he was he was always just like, if something bad happens in your life. What like, did they think about all this? I was like the, I was, I think the most scared to like show. Like I remember when I first got into the attack, I like had my face bandaged up and I made them leave the bathroom because I didn't want them to look at me. Like I was like embarrassed in a way because I was like. You weren't scared for them being worried for you? I was 100% scared. And like the only way they found out that I got into an attack my cousin took my phone by the way that's what I forgot to say um was because I I sent a picture to half of my face to my friends and they were like why do you have fx makeup on like what the hell are you doing and like everyone thought it was a joke until they sent it to my mom and then my mom oh. was like oh shit like wait why didn't you contact your she took my phone my cousin so you would have contacted them. 100% okay. yeah I wanted to but she's like don't tell anyone until you're in the hospital like she was freaking out so that's fair yeah, I guess. Um, yeah, so. You would freak me out, you know. Yeah, I got bad. a daughter. She's 18. If she was like, Dad, I, I got some I news. I, I, like, I, didn't, I don't even know how I would have texted, It would kill me more than it would kill her, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't even know how I would have been like, hey, Mom, I, you know, this dog just ripped my but face off. But I'll tell you this. As a parent, if I was your dad and you were doing what you're doing right now, I wouldn't feel bad anymore because I'd be like, look at you. Yeah. <laughs> it <laughs> yeah, didn't right. stop you at all. Thank you. Yeah. You're shining. Thank you. Yeah. That means a lot. I got one. You got what? A few. Oh, let's take a quick break to talk about habits. Yeah, I've got a lot of habits. Some are good and some are really, really bad. Nasty that's why, habits. That's why I'm a lonely man. <laughs> we know fume is not a vape. It's non-electronic device designed to transform your negative habits. Instead of pods filled with potential harmful chemicals like a vape, fume uses core infused with plants like peppermint and cinnamon and delicious natural flavors. I mean, there's certain things that we want to talk about, like the version two model is snappy and tactile. That's this. That's snappy and tactile. You can adjust it for your sucking pleasure. <laughs> the, the, the adjust <laughs> <laughs> that would be the adjustable airflow <laughs> dial. But what he said is actually better. The minty sensation is really powerful and really hits the back of the throat. The easiest way to stop a bad habit is to switch to a positive one, and Fume is designed perfectly to do just that. They have thousands of five-star reviews from people just like you who successfully switched when other solutions just didn't work. Head to tryfume.com and use the code HVW to save 10% off when you get the Journey Pack today. The Journey Pack comes with three unique flavors and a new version two Fume to help kickstart your positive habits. That's T-R-Y-F-U-M.com and use code HVW, Hawk V. Wolf, to save an additional 10% off your order today. Yeah, my dad, like, they called me because they had to drive up to Arizona. And I, like, just told my mom, I was like, I don't want any, like, sad vibes. Like, I know what I went through is, like, fucked up. But, like, yeah. please don't, like, make me feel sad. Yeah. I was like, treat me, like, normal, like, when you're around me and if you come. And that's exactly what they did. My mom was like, hey, did, how you doing? Like, you look good. Like, Did you, yeah. how long did you stay in the hospital in Arizona? Uh, two days. And then you came back to California? Yeah, they, like, released me and they were like, they, so basically when I went under surgery, they just sewed the skin up to like make it stop bleeding. So my mouth. So they knew that crazy. you were going to, to go forth and do something else. Yeah, they they were like, like you're from California. A lot of plastic surgeries, like she had centers over there. Just teeth and gums. Yeah, it was. I look I like saw, a skeleton. I, I, I I've been following the story. Yeah, it's terrifying. I look like a skeleton. That's like the only way I could say. But I mean, I didn't know like how how hard it was going to be to find a doctor. I had the top lip gone for one year. Like I did not have a top lip at Wait, all. Wait, because, because you, you couldn't were, find one. I couldn't find a doctor. Oh, I thought you were just vetting them. 
No, no, I, I literally couldn't find a doctor. <laughs> like, like, oh no, not no, you. No, it's crazy. You're like, not so good enough. You find the process is insane. Like, I went. Well, first of all, the first doctor that I saw, he was like, "You're never gonna be the same," and I was like. I know that like my lip is completely off, but also don't tell me that when I'm in that, yeah. you know, like in that type of situation, I feel like you want to be like, it's going to be okay. Yeah. He I would think like, he would have a better bedside manner. But than doctors that. do that. Like yeah. remember how many times they've told us we're never going to skate again. And when you're young and someone, a doctor guess, tells you that you kind of believe it. Yeah. I mean, it is like, but also at the same time, like don't do that. Like have yeah. more compassion, you know, you've had multiple surgeries though, right? Mm -hmm. Seven. Did you keep going back. Is it, did, you found the right guy. And oh yeah, go. it took me a year. And I okay. told my mom, like before I met this last doctor, I was like, I'm not like, if this is not the guy, I'm not gonna have surgery and I'm gonna rock one lip for the rest of my life. And she was like, okay. Like she prayed about it and she was like, I'm just gonna, you know. Let. And then you found a guy and mm -hmm. he said, I can, so, I can do something. But here. during that year, your mm -hmm. speech didn't change? It did. No, it was really bad. When I, when I first got into the hospital, I was trying to say my name and I was like, Brooklyn but it sounded like Brooklyn because I only had the, upper, so it was like Brooklyn. That's, that's what I was curious. So, but but in that year, did mm. you figure out how to adapt to that? I did. I was able to like move my lower lip and I still do that now because this doesn't have any muscle or anything in it. So it's very, it's literally just- What about just, feeling? I have feeling in it. My doctor actually did an incision here and took like a main artery and a nerve from here so I can actually feel my lip. It took an artery what? out of your forearm no, and yeah. put it in your face. Yeah, Little, look. Sick. I that know. is next level. Yeah, so he took this. We are this. so lucky to live in this age of modern right. medicine. Seriously. No, Let me was... see your arm again. That is a sick sc oh, And then I have one going dude, all the way it's up. like a shark attack. I know. I call it my little shark attack. He's like, oh, say don't that. say that. <laughs> I love it. It's a mini shark gangster. attack. Yeah. So he basically like took the skin and then felt, folded it like a taco. And that's what he has been like working with for the upper lip. You're a legend. Wait, wait. Thank so wait. I'm getting this tattoo. She put a smiley face on yes. my hand before the show. Really? I'm getting this tattoo. Do you want one? I'm gonna. Not a tattoo. Do you just want like a sharpie? Yes. Okay. Yes. I'll have, okay. a, I'll have a sharpie smiley face. It's I, legendary. I thought it was like something we had to tattoo. No. Yeah. Got after it. she leaves, I'm gonna wait, stick it. So is that a hand. tattoo? No, this isn't. But I should probably get one. I oh, think okay. I literally well, draw it on my I my hand just, every day. I, I was getting I was getting peer pressure into a smiley <laughs> face tattoo. Wow! Yeah. Now now we know why you're on that chair. He wouldn't I do, do that it. To you, dude. I get sure. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So I missed the part. How? Where did they get the skin? He literally took it from my my forearm. That's where he took it from. The, so Wait, that, the nerve. Okay. Yeah, Tony's so this skin is on my face. That's what you're okay, seeing here. And then they, then they took, had to take and the nerve. They had to take this skin to like, because it was just like open. So they like did this thing called like an arm lift, where they like basically take it like this and then they sew it. And then that's what they. That's so this skin is from here. Then he took the main nerve. He like, literally, I had to do this like crazy test to like see how strong my neck nerve was and what side he'd do it on. And I was saying, this is my better side. So can you do it on this side? And he's like, well, you're lucky. It's like on this side. So I was like, perfect. So he put, he, yeah, he like literally attached it on into the, the main artery, funneled it under my skin through here. And now I can feel it. Uh, Insane. That's amazing. And he practiced on a rat before he did it on me so that it was easier. <laughs> so you're the, so you're the yeah. So you're the first person that he's done it to. Yeah. Oh yeah. So to and the point where he practiced on an animal what, before you. Absolutely. What was his expertise? Or He's his just insane. He like is the smartest guy I've ever met in my life. And like every other guy that I talk but to. But generally if someone's going to his office, what are they trying to It's all him? trauma. It's like trauma. All trauma. So okay. like literally everything. Like he, he does a lot of cancer patients. He does a lot of car accident, a lot of um, athletes. But all parts of the body. Everything. Like literally, like he told me about a case he had the other day and I was like, Oh my God, like, I don't know how you do what you do. In my experience, it feels like trauma doctors, they're less about cosmetics. He's like a trauma getting you like, back. But the thing is, is he does like a lot of cancer patients. So they're like missing like their boobs and they're missing, uh -huh. you know, parts of their jaws. So he's like having to recreate all of that. So right. for me, he was like, yes, this is a type of trauma and I mm. can definitely do it. But like, how do we make it as aesthetic as we can? And that's, yeah. that's, that was his biggest thing is how do we make this lip not just look like a piece of skin, but like an actual part of your body which was mm. the upper lip so mm. um when i talked to like all these other doctors are like i graduated from harvard top of my class i was like i don't care like show me what you can do yeah and they're yeah. like oh yeah i uh, didn't put a portfolio i was like next you know i had so many doctors tell me no that they couldn't do um the surgery that they needed to do because it was just too how long was the initial surgery it was 20 hours what yeah and i was like what did you eat that was How, my that's first what I, Yeah, I'm always curious about when they say, oh, this surgery was 20 hours, 36 hours. Is that the same doctor the yeah, whole time? Yeah, it was the same surgeon. 
I don't know how. Like I'm telling you guys, this is like he's a lot of caffeine. Fruit roll ups. For real? No, he told me he ate chocolate. <laughs> he did. Yeah. Okay, that's probably smarter. I like yeah. where our minds go. I like, I like fruit, fruit roll ups and chocolate. It's just so convenient, and man. And caffeine. Yeah. Like, wait, did you try that, that fruit roll up? Coffee and fruit roll. Yeah. Did you try that fruit Power roll up ice cream thing? What? It's Not... like trending on TikTok. You should try it. I want fruit roll up ice cream. I know. You put it in and then it hardens and then you bite into it. Do you see like... that fighter lady on the weekend? She wore a fruit roll up dress. No, that's I a was legend. not. I like fruit roll ups <laughs> and I like ladies, but this was a combination I was not that into. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. never know until you see it, you know? And it turns me. out she okay. was like, yeah, I'm just trying to help the promotion. That's why I got a fruit roll-up dress on. And then she stood up and I was like, <laughs> why? <laughs> that was a fail. She said, look, my friend made it. I'm like, oh, I can tell your friend made it. That's real fruit roll-up too, I can tell. I, just uh, melting on her body. Yeah, <laughs> and, then she, and then she, in the same sentence, it was like, I don't date, I don't, and I'm like, oh man, you're just gonna waste that fruit roll-up dress. You should have just like Sorry. peeled it. <laughs> I should off. Yeah. I don't know. There was a famous fighter sitting next to her, a Brazilian <laughs> guy, who had the look of disgust on his face. <laughs> I wonder what she smelled like. Like just strawberry. Fruit roll up for sure. I wouldn't She had mind. all the colors. She had like red and yellow. And I wonder little. if her skin died. Because you know when you'd put it on your tongue and it would turn red? Like you're sweat. You have to be sweating. Was it, it, was it against her body or was there a layer oh, yeah. in between? I hope she had underwear she on, but it was so skimpy so that you it, could unwrap her. Is is what you're saying? Very gross, Tony. But yes, you could totally <laughs> unwrap her and fruit it? roll her up. <laughs> I love. I, that. I was more in the platonic sense, but yes, yeah, yeah. okay, guys. Well, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, of course. She's a great athlete. There you go. Wow. Perfect. She got ripped oh off too. She lost. Wow. It was the fruit roll up. Pearl Gonzalez, I think her name is. <laughs> Okay, we covered that. Shout out to her. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to look it up. <laughs> <Her> promotion. <laughs> I'm thinking about maybe I should wear a fruit roll up outfit to help the podcast. Next time. Definitely. If hey, look, sponsor. guys, I've got fruit roll up pants on. And you're just hungry and you're like, <laughs> oh, yeah, oh you man, that would be, I would be naked by the end what of the about, show. What about, okay, what can I, are you done there? Are <laughs> you yep. done with that one? <laughs> Sorry. What about eating in that year span? Yeah, that was difficult. I like, when it was that when I was in the hospital, this like nurse came in and she was like, hi, like I'm your speech person and like I need to see how you talk. And I'm like, yeah, what's up? Um, she's like, oh, you talk really well. I'm like, cool. She's like, can you eat? And I was like in the hospital for six days. And I was like, this is before the surgery. Um, I was like, I no, I don't think so. Like how, you know, I had to figure everything out. I had to figure out how to like eat with a fork, with a spoon. I had to flip it on up like upside down because you use your upper lip for the spoon. Yeah. So I like flip it upside down. I actually still do that. Um. Yeah, like drinking, it was just, I would drink something and it would just go everywhere. So I had to like bring my my bottom lip up to the top of my mouth um, so that it wouldn't like go through my teeth and like through my gum. So I had to like relearn how to do, yeah, practically everything. So what, and, and then what happened after after you got the surgery? Yeah, when I had that piece of skin Did there, everything become much easier? No, because it was so big that it was like, yeah. I had, I went from oh, having okay. nothing to I this see. big bulky thing on my yeah. face. Like Super exaggerated. Yeah, it was like, Oh my God. But, um, the eating got easier. Um, it was like so stitched up and swollen that it was like kind of hard to like just keep things. I don't know. It was just messy. Mm. And then I, and then, you know, you just, I feel like you're, you just morph to what you have to, I think. Mm -hmm. so. And where are you at now? Is there more to come? Yeah. I still have a surgery, um, just aesthetic surgery. Uh, the last surgery I had, he, took a line and it looks he like, amazing yeah he made it, I, the the top lip like more top lippy i don't know mm -hmm. <laughs> um yeah so he just made it more aesthetic and then how made, do you feel about how you look beforehand to now i think that i always say this but if you were to tell me like a year ago when i just got attacked or two years ago that i'd look how i did now i don't think i would have believed anyone i think i i didn't have an expectation of how i wanted myself to look i just kind of did it day by day, like life just day by day and every surgery, how the surgery was. And I just, just learned to love myself in each stage. And I think that's been like probably the best learning part that I've, I've done. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't think anyone could have handled it better. Thank you. Right? Than yeah. You. There's no way. It's been cool. I've learned a lot about myself too. And just like what I'm, what you're capable of and how you react but, to And you things. inspire others so much to overcome their challenges to overcome whatever and and bull, I mean all of it like it, it's really it's it's a very motivational story um especially like overcoming just bullying you know just life 
in your youth and then decide to skate because that's gonna you know more as a as an as a response to that yeah um which we definitely all identify with but you look good too thank you yeah i feel good i like i told like i like i said i wouldn't have imagined myself to look like this the fact that i do i'm just like i'm so happy and i think it's easier to go out I was always going out in public, but like society, I think is very quick to judge someone yep. that doesn't look perfect or yep. just society in general just strives off perfection. Scares and I just, people. Yeah, I just wasn't you that. You look different. Exactly. They were, yeah. I mean, I had people coming up to me and just at like, what the hell happened to your face? Like, I'm like, oh mm. God, like I don't really have to tell you, but That's you know. That's kind of, yeah, a little too far, you know? Yeah. So like if you come on a <laughs> show. Yeah, yeah. Like I was Boundaries. feeling a little anxious about asking you on the show. Yeah, but yeah, if you no. were just at a football game, no, yeah. I'm not going to be oh, like. I, was, I've, I came in here fully prepared to just talk about skating. Yeah. Do you still want to talk about it? Because I can answer. Yeah, we're going to get that. to that. Oh, yeah, we want to talk about skating. But but then I also, like, I, I see all of your social media and I realize that you very much embrace the story about it and, and talk about overcoming yeah. it. So I knew we'd talk about it, but I didn't know that it was going to be like this. Yeah, no, and I think it's like, it's such a big part of my life. So I feel like when I talk about it, it makes me happy. But the, I guess that's the other thing is, is you say it's a big part of your life. Do you sometimes get tired of that being no. the big thing? I think when I talk about it, and somebody's being helped by it. Because when I was in the hospital, I was so alone and I was trying to search on the internet for someone that went through it. And I just felt so like this was only happening to me. Mm -hmm. So that's when I started just filming everything and posting. Cause I was like, if somebody out there is going through the same thing, I wouldn't want them to feel how I felt. Yep. Have I was, you met anyone that went through? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I get DMs all the time of people that have gotten attacked and they look different or they have half their cheek. By gone animals or, or just? Pibbles. All really? Pibbles. Yeah. Wow. Which is like I said, the breed that it is being done by but um yeah unfortunately a lot of people because but, i mean I, and other Dogs. people have definitely lost just part of their lip yeah. from other injuries yeah they things. just don't so. share yeah i guess yeah. but i think a, now a lot more people are which is really cool because mm -hmm. um, i think it's cool to share our differences and shit we go through because you must have a like a like your the way you handle it is like in a is attractive in itself because you just seem like you know, I mean, I know you're gay and stuff and you're out of, <laughs> out of my thing, but you're like, you know what I mean? Like you're, you got a girlfriend, right? Yeah. Is she like a model? Chloe. Um, like a big famous model? She like danced and she acts now. She's pretty hot. Yeah, she's beautiful. She is. But you guys match. Yeah. Because you're, I don't see it. You know, I said, because I, I follow you and I see the photos and I'm uh -huh. like, oh my God, that is really bad. But now. Yeah. You're just like a now cool. Now I'm chilling. I know. You know what I mean? Like Surgery. Hot, yeah. Like I, feel I know. Like it's now people being like, well, I, I didn't even like realize that there was something different. I'm like, cool. My doctor's doing something right. But like before it was just so obvious that I was like, I would almost like beat them to the punchline and be like, hey, I got attacked by a dog. That's why I like look weird, you know, yeah. to just like clear the air. Cause I know people look at me. Well, and I, like, it's great to show your journey too, especially when they put the skin up there yeah. in the beginning and the, and, oh, it looked you know, crazy. To, to show what it takes to get to that because yeah patience yeah because there is this sort of false narrative that it's like everything's good head surgery it's fine yeah. like no you went through a lot and i feel like there. on instagram i try to be really real about that because yeah, like i it, said a lot of people just post like oh, my life no so it's great. really inspiring I'm like, for sure. life sucks sometimes well and also yep. and they're editing i do that their photos and, yeah exactly you know that kind of stuff it's got to go yeah. but um <laughs> i agree <laughs> i don't think especially these days i think it's great that you're on instagram which is a platform that is for promotion of fake as much as possible. I'm not saying it's in, it's intentional, but everybody's full of shit on Instagram, man. Like that's the deal. And you're on there being like, oh no, there's like a, this is reality and it can get real bad. And I'm a young, pretty girl that got her lip bitten off, which means now you'd be like, oh, what are you going to do with your life now? You're not like this thing that you thought you were going to be. And you've just proven that that doesn't mean anything at all. Yeah. What, what did you, what did you envision your future being before all that? I couldn't tell you. I was like a very much like I just live for the day type of person. And I think that's how I still am. Still but do, right? I have but when you do modeling now. that it wasn't that you were oh, I definitely, chasing modeling. Yeah, I, de I think I wanted to, to do you. like more sport modeling. So I was like, oh, I'll do this and this and I'll try to yeah. get into that. But then it was literally like, boom. I wanted to do commercial work like really bad. Like I wanted to be on a commercial. I don't know why I thought that was like such the cool thing. But that at the time was what I wanted to do. And like right when I got into the attack, my mom was like, hey, you don't have to post anything like just wait until all the surgeries are done. And I was like, that's the opposite of what I'm going to do. Because yep. like you said, social media is such a place where people only share the good. And 
only what they're accomplishing in life. But I'm like, dude, it can also like life sucks sometimes and yep. it's fine to have bad days. And it's also great when you have the good ones because then you can appreciate how good the, the good days are compared to the bad. So how soon did you start skating after you right got when I got cleared? Like literally when I first got into the attack, I got cleared, I think like three months later. And I, I went right back to skating and that's cleared for what? Um, activity, activity, swimming, surfing, skating, running, like you can't do anything because you're right, because you couldn't sweat. You don't want to get anything infected. Exactly. Potentially, right? Yeah. An infection in your face. Like it could go anywhere. Right. So I was like very cautious about that, which is smart. Were you yeah. on uh strong antibiotics, just antibiotics and then um, aspirin if I needed it. I told you aspirin. Like, I didn't take anything. <laughs> I know. You guys right? are... I don't even No, I literally it was I stubbed a... my toe. I'm like, <laughs> I'll ask my wife, you got any pain pills? <laughs> <laughs> you, you slammed the pink I motel. I had like fifty you broken the bones. Motel and took a painkiller on Burt Kreischer's show because he was in pain yeah. in real time. Yeah, and it wasn't really that bad. <laughs> I'll be honest now. Oh my god! No, I lit I don't know why. Like I was like, oh, it's fine. I just want like aspirin. And my doctor had to like ask me to take the aspirin because I wasn't taking it. And he's like, no, it helps with swelling. Like, yeah. please take it. And I was like, I'm fine. Oh like, yeah. I was just weird. I don't know, but. I like to like know how my body's healing. So that's... do you eat clean? Yeah, but I like, also are you a like I'm fast not... food eating person or no, no, no. I like very. I eat very healthy, but I also were you before? No, I always ate healthy. My dad's uh, Middle Eastern, my mom's Greek, so they the Mediterranean diet is very oh, like uh, green and yeah. like yeah, Those are two very awesome healthy. Cuisines. But you like so fruit good. roll up ice yeah. cream though? I never tried it. I asked. Oh if my you tried god! It. But we're <laughs> back for roll ups. What it just. <laughs> Please sponsor Don't him. Don't eat that clean if you're bragging about you can't wait to do fruit roll up ice cream. That was like you a know? bonding thing. Like I was like, yo, you want to do like well, I would do what that for you. That's I'm trying to bond. I'm like, you eat clean, so do I. But every now and then, fruit roll up ice cream. Right? But I didn't say I didn't. Right. Yeah. Okay. I have fun with life. I yeah. like to eat a lot of weird shit. So. But just not. You're not a junk food person. No, I like eat clean. But if someone's like, yo, you want to go Chick Fil A? I'm there. Right. right. That was a bad one to bring up. But yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. I feel you that. Not go there. We don't go there. Their chicken nuggets are good. I mean, in and out. Stop going there. Hi ho. Have you ever they had hi ho? Like us. Stop going there. <laughs> sorry, Tony. You're right. Oh, right. the Chick Fil A. You're so right. Yeah. <laughs> have you been to Hi Ho Burger? It's on Wilshire. It's really good. Hi. No. Ho you need Burger. to try that next time you're in LA. It's insane. Like you like cheeseburgers? Yes. yes. Both of you? It's yeah. so good. The French fries. <laughs> yeah. Yo. Yes. Yeah. It's so good. Anyone and got one down. right now? Yeah. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say so. I could go. Uh, my one. default is burger. She wrote. So good. Oh. Oh. Like like a. This is a one off. Not a chain. There's you go two. To. And is it just down here? What's that? Is it a San Diego thing? No, it's in LA. It's it's oh. it's What's it called? place. What's that burger What's she wrote? Oh, okay. I need to try it. There's one on it it was it's right it was by the old Supreme. Uh, oh, Fairfax? Uh, yeah. Fairfax. Yeah. yeah. Weird. We need to try Smash it. Smash burgers. We'll have a burger day. Yeah. Okay. Let's do That's it. a burger tour. Yes. I'm we'll down. Do Ooh, that does yeah. sound like a good thing. Right? So <laughs> okay. Maybe. That sounds cool. Okay. We could go to Venice. And then we'll do the fruit roll up thing after. Yeah. You go to what? What are you gonna what do you mean for all oh, the fruit roll up ice cream? Yeah. Sorry like, to I, bring fruit roll up. But that that you have to prepare, right? You have to like stick in the freezer. I feel like that's like I'm a hearing? ten minute deal. Like we just Oh wait, you make it yourself. You like take ice cream and you put it in the fruit roller and then you wrap it. I'll show you after. Sick. <laughs> He's so it's a it fruit roll up and oh. then you bite into an ice cream's <laughs> in there? Yeah. Sick. And then it cracks. Such a good idea. We're off the rails. Do, it, do an ASMR thing. <coughs> a what? ASMR with the microphone. Just, it'll be good. ASMR. Oh, come on, Jason. You know what ASMR oh. is. No, I do it. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. What you is it? Know. If you know, you, you know. You know all the fetishes, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> it's a fetish? Yes, it is, is right? It? Oh, I have Yes. No, I have no idea. I just Am know, I crazy? Is it a fetish? ASMR is a fetish, right? I think maybe it will be for men. What is it? It's when they whisper and they do everything. It's like, oh, and do the crinkle. I hate oh, those God. people. Okay, so we know you're not into that. God, I, hate, <laughs> I have a really attractive voice. If, shut up. Our friend listens to it to go to sleep every night. He well, does. Do you actually? All right. I don't know. That it just it seemed like it has. Everyone has their own thing. Yeah. I, okay, that's different though. But I like the say girls that are like adjacent. Okay. I bl I think you're right. Yes. I think you're all right. right. Thank okay. you. I'm glad we cleared that up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't pass any judgment. No. I just thought you knew what it was. I'm not good with like names of things. <laughs> <laughs> I just do stuff, you know. Good. Then I find out later that there was a name for it. And I'm like, oh, oh, yeah, I've been a part thing. of that the whole right. time. Oh. I didn't even know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm into that. Yeah, yeah. I created that. I probably. That's probably. <laughs> That's probably happened more than once where, dude, I'm like, that sounds weird. No. And they're like, it's this. And I'm like, 
I'm pretty sure I invented that. <laughs> so yeah, I do that. You did. Yeah. Sick. Oh, well. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, um, what kind of skating are you into? Oh. Fruit Mostly roller. street. No, I'm joking. You're, I, yeah. you're a park no. shredder, right? I like both. Yeah. I honestly, I really like vert stuff, but not like that vert. Like just like Venice Bowl. Love Venice Bowl. That's vert. Yeah. Yeah. I like the Venice Bowl, but I also like skating like spots too. Do you knee slide? Mm -mm. No. No knee pads. No knee pads. No, no. knee pads. I do like the. <gasps> oh. Yeah. Probably Just really bad. Yeah, I know. No, totally <laughs> running out of stuff. Yeah, no. I know. <laughs> Not so even. Bad. I wasn't even old before I couldn't run out of stuff. Like I was in my thirties, <laughs> and I remember like skating a street course and like messing up, going pretty fast, and I'm like shoulder block. Yeah. Like, I, I, oh, yeah. I would just way rather just skid roll. my yeah. freaking head across the ground than I run. I, I ran for the first time over the weekend. Mm. Was it we terrifying? In, it, it was. No, it was liberating. Wait, but, you saying you ran out of a trick I know, or I just you just ran. went for a run? I ran. No, I, like, I found myself crossing the street and there was a car coming. And, like, you oh, and then I was like, hey, oh, I'm running. I'm running. So, so that'd like, be the first time you ran in like, <laughs> yeah, since I broke my leg. Right. So it's oh, like. Okay, a, that's good. Yeah, no, it was exciting. Yeah, yeah that's fair. Exciting. That's fair. Sorry. No, I saw it's this. It's not fruit roll up ice cream exciting, but still, I get it. But it's there. It's to me. Each to their own, Tony. Where did you break your. Your leg. Right there. I know, but like what part of your femur. leg? Oh, my femur right, right here. Right in the came middle It came out. It came out. Yeah, I saw it. Of yeah. Your, of your skin. Yeah. Oh, Do you have yeah. pictures of that? Can I see it? I love that type he of He was stuff. videoing I it. I got video. Okay, that. I need to yeah. see it later. He wasn't, the, surprisingly, no one was shooting when I got hurt, um, which it was really strange because one of my sons was here with a few of his friends mm -hmm. and they were here because they wanted to see the ramp. They never seen real skate, like live skating. Mm -hmm. And so they've been videoing a lot and then- yeah. Just not. Oh my god! It was just time. a weird thing because it was like him and Bucky were like, "We're gonna drop in and do five forties and I'm like, "I've seen both of you do this." Yeah, like my who cares? It's always on the one that's like. So like, not. why would I pull the camera out for it? Like, I'm oh. sure you're gonna do it in like two or three tries, and then boom! And I'm like, that sounded hard. And yeah. then I'm like, his legs point the wrong way. No. No, I saw a guy at Venice the other day just literally did the same thing with his foot. Like he he was going like for a little 50-50 and his board like slid front side, like just out of it. And he like tried putting both of his legs on the wall to run down. Mm. And as soon as I saw him do that, I was like, oh fuck, like no, no way. And then he like slid down the ramp and he's like, he's like, I'm fine, I'm just gonna get up. And I looked at his leg and I was like, yeah, don't, like don't get up, just like stay there. It was his, his leg or his His uh, foot ankle. was literally like this. Oh, it was his like ankle this. popped out. His ankle was like literally over here. Yeah. Oh, okay. His yeah. foot was like completely, and I was like, oh, so I couldn't imagine. <clears throat> what did you think in that moment where you're just like, oh. like I looked up and I said, I broke my leg. Ever, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's exactly what I thought. I was like, my first, I, I, I talked about, so Kevin, um, my friend who you saw skating with the purple hair, mm -hmm. he, uh, he broke his four months later. Um, and both the same of us- thing. Yeah. So, yeah, a little higher than mine. Actually, what? a little more complicated the than heck? mine. Yeah. And, and he was there when it happened. He was there when it happened. Yeah. I was there when it happened to him. What the hell? Um, but we both had the same conversation because we both had the same thought when it happened was, this is going to take so long. Yep. Uh -huh. I think that's like how you're trained as a skater to just be like- That was it. But then that, that is my out. first thought was like, how the I'm going to be out for like months. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. And it wasn't even, and so I went and grabbed my leg and oh. put it back yeah, to where I, saw I thought him do it that. He hadn't be. even finished slow, like he hadn't come to a stop yet. Like I, I watched the, I got bird's eye view. It went boom, snap, and he's skidding and his leg's pointing the wrong <laughs> yeah. way. Down the ramp. And he sat up yeah. and, and grabbed it and like, it went like, I don't know. I'm straight. glad you did it because the, the paramedics were going to have to do that anyway. You know what I mean? Like they usually, I don't know. I just wanted, yeah, no, I wanted some sense of normalcy in that moment. Yeah, he yeah. probably doesn't remember, but they did. They straightened it again. Oh. They put this oh, no, brace on. That's when, that's, that's when, when things got painful. That's when he made yeah. a noise where I was like, I don't like, I don't want to, I, like I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> yeah. I don't like watching my friend. Yeah, make go that through I'm no, I'm no Brooklyn Corey. No, no. With none pain. of us are. <laughs> no, no, but that, that's like us. worse. That's like scary. Cause you can't like, I, I could still walk and do everything I need to do. Like that's fucked. Like you're like. Sorry. Yeah, it you was win. Uh, it was no. bummer, but then, um, yeah, but that, it's so. I'm back. I'm back. Yeah, I'm yeah you I'm are. Glad. Frontside hurricanes today, dude. Looking like, yeah, you never left good. him. Thank you. <laughs> I want to see. Yeah, it. that was very impressive. Was that? <laughs> I'm like, I want to see. I got it. video of that too. I'll show <laughs> okay, you it all. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we we were skating right before you got here. Love it. That's why it smells in here. Oh no, <laughs> no, sure. uh, yeah, it's I put his, my pads there. The sorry. studio is a pad room now. I'm joking. I, <laughs> it is. 
I was just doing that. I'm not. Relax. But I do want to. No, yeah. this is where I come to change. Yeah, you. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're It's like the not, laundry mat. We're, <laughs> It's multi-purpose. The studio. No, it's the multi-purpose. It's multi-purpose. Yep. No. That's good. You it's can do repurposed. Everything. It's your studio. You can take a shit in the corner. And I'd be like, and we're back. You know? <laughs> I'll test you on that. <laughs> Please don't. Please do. I, not, not when Brooklyn's here, though. Thank you. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I would want to see that happen. I feel like you'd have the worst reaction. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. You ever think prank we need this to... guy? No. What's that? What? You ever prank him? I feel like he's a really good guy to prank. Yeah, I'm very gullible. But not even that. I think like you'd have the perfect reaction. Yeah, I'm always surprised. Okay, yeah, un until it's not the perfect reaction. Yeah. <laughs> Reese there we go. Nelson. Oh yeah, she's gave me this yeah. today. So I watched cute. it happen, and no one has ever. It's so cute. Like kids don't. My kids don't listen to this. But if you do, this is a girl that I barely know. And they made this for me, and it's got all. I love chocolate. Candy. It's yeah, got no, it's, all, it's our Easter gifts. It's got mad candy in it. It's, and it looks oh, handmade. I didn't even know it's got. It looks handmade too. Oh, it's got egg. It's got those. Did you see her learn frontside blunts today? Yeah, she was born to do that though. She's got the Tony well, Hawk Colin so McKay thing. She she sent her. Sorry, we're. I love it. We're, I'm here we, for we, it. We digress, but uh, I was I was gone over the last week, and her mom sent me a video of her trying it. And she's like, Reese wants you to tell her the secret to frontside blunts. And I was mm -hmm. like, I'll be back on Monday and I'll tell her. Yeah. And then I started working with her on it. And she was, she had some bad attempts. Yeah. You know, where I was like, ooh, I don't know. And then all of a sudden, just perfect. Just clicked. Yeah. Clicked. Perfect. Yeah. Like I love watching little Grom skate. Like they just have no fear in them. And they just, they just do it. Yeah. She's particularly inspirational because of how low she is to the ground. And <laughs> I'm like, how do you get momentum to go anywhere yeah, with those little this? legs? You know what I mean? Like, I couldn't go anywhere and with those legs. And just spin a five on a dime. Yeah. It's very impressive. Very but it's also, I, when I come here, she's the, she's the only person that skates by herself. Mm -hmm. She's Aww. here a lot by herself. Her mom's watching, knitting some stuff at the same time. Kn knitting that. It's quite the combo. That's what she's doing. I would love a beanie. I need her little Instagram. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked on this. So cute. What What is your next goal in skating? Skating? Trick-wise? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. What I'm, was the last big trick you learned where you're like, oh, that was a milestone? Like a 360 out, which doesn't sound like anything 360 to you guys. 360 out of the bowl. 360 out of a bowl, like a yeah. grab. I was having grab such a hard time. Yeah, yeah. with it. I don't Nose know grab? Nose grab. Mm -hmm. I don't know one. trick wise. Just more street spots, I think. I'm like sick of skating parks. I seen those kickflips looking pretty good. Thank you. Yeah, with me, I'm like, I I feel like I've just, I'm like scared to do things because- I've just gone through so many surgeries that I'm mm. like, I need to respect my doctor, but I'm also like, I don't want to hurt myself because really skating is- like, Are you worried about hurting another part of your body or you're worried- I'm about worried about hitting my face because I do a lot of air outs and like grabs and I'm just like, every time it gets close, I'm like, oh, like a little too close. I wear helmets like but are you, on and off. Are you at risk of of undoing the work they've done? Yeah, my nose. Like if if anyone just like hits my nose like that, it's, it's done because I didn't have any cartilage in my nose. I'll show you a picture from before. My nose was like completely down. Like I didn't have any tip. So like this Wait, was, so it, it got the nose too? Yeah, it got all under my nose and then the whole lip. Yeah. So my nose oh, is wow. like, it's it's really like if anybody hits it or if anything- Your nose like, is sculpted. Done. Uh, it'll like literally go back into the- So what's your nose made oh, of? Oh, that's heavy. My I mean, sorry. So my doctor- Where'd like, they get the- yeah, to do the, like the cartilage. Yeah. He had to like go to the deepest part of my nose and then carve out a triangle and then bring that and then sew it, like metal sew it in. So like if you feel it, feel it right now, it's rock hard. Oh. Yeah, it like does not move at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. breathe, you breathe through the Yeah, up. did that change your breathing? Yeah, when I first got into the attack, I didn't have any nostril breathing out of the left one. It's like if you look into it, it's like way smaller here than it is this one because he took more from the side. So literally like I couldn't breathe for a year out of my like my left nose at and all. Then it just opened up. Then when he did the first surgery, oh, I, okay. I did it a little bit, a little bit, and then it was a nose surgery and I was like, oh my God, I literally forgot how I had that. I had, I had a deviated septum oh. when I was younger and I had that surgery when I was in my 20s and it changed my life. Yeah, right. You're just like, yeah. yeah. Where it's like, oh, I'm you not can always smell. stuffy. Yeah. I wanted to, yeah. I can you get it now. I just nose. realized because I've had that for a long time. But I was like, if you get that surgery, guaranteed you go to the gym and someone breaks it straight away. But now That's that I've, I'm now that yeah, I've it wasn't retired, guaranteed in my, in my case. So, 
Yeah, well, okay. I see your. <laughs> I see how it would have worked for you, but now because I retired, then I could get that, and I still fear that like I get it. And you gotta I, join. You gotta join our crew. It's yeah, it's good. Yeah. I like it's, it's everything is so enhanced. The smell, I swear. Really, your, your cologne. I yeah. was like, and she knew my cologne, and I didn't. <laughs> wow, that's He's like impressive. my wife got it for me. Yeah, yeah Layla. I don't have that's anything. Cool. She's a model. Yeah, that's why you think she, I like yeah. model sense. What is this? No, we, no it's just like high end yeah, brands. I yeah. think okay. more. We both. You think, think I'm like a high end yeah. person? We, we both know that, that you would be yeah. familiar with them. I'm literally I'm a thrift shopper. Like all this. I know. I'm not saying. Yeah, but you know high end stuff. <laughs> it's not that. Her it's girlfriend. More, get get it's out like, of it's here. Like Dylan, it's you like, know stuff. No, no, my girlfriend. You're right. It's more. I'm thinking of like Dylan Reader. Like he's not. He wasn't a high fashion dude, but he lived in that world because he was a model. That right, makes sense. And like then, you just so know he about knew it. all the brands and all the yeah, smells, that's and true. that's that's where I'm. My at. girlfriend, on the other hand, very bougie. There she you likes go. the nice things, so I have learned from her bougie in the best way. That's what I do. I, there you I, go. People yeah. that talk about it, I'm just standing there, and I go, "Oh, okay, that's a cool word. I remember that." <laughs> That's a yeah. That brand, yeah. If, like, I, if I drop that name of that brand, yeah, certain brands like, like you know, Tom of Finland. Like yeah. I didn't know about Tom of Finland, <laughs> and then my wife's talking about it, and then I got like, and then someone's like, oh, you got Tom Finland underwear? I'm like, yeah, like, <laughs> you really know? And I'm like, I don't know anything. I don't know that. If it makes you feel better, you don't know Tom of Finland? Uh uh Ooh, flex. <laughs> yeah, I'll teach you. I'll All right, I'll teach you weird ways. <laughs> You know the weird gay guys with all the leather on that the two like chaps? Yeah, that's Tom of Finland. You wear those? No, oh. no, the guy. Oh, he made it. That logo, like, cause he has it on t-shirts and stuff. Mm. I'm sounding clueless right now because I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> I'll look just, it up. He just yeah. stepped into the room. I just added all. myself <laughs> as a clueless moron. <laughs> we we already established that though about about talking about the brand stuff. It's like because you. As a model, you would live in those circles, so you would be more familiar with that them. That's true. Yeah, you don't have to be all about it. We're on it. the outside looking in. We're like, what's cool? I, don't I know. mean, you really uh, do know a lot about fruit roll ups. So I wouldn't put it past you that you knew other things. But that's because but... I like candy. Okay. Like a lot. What's your favorite? Uh, it changes because it's Mood? like Metallica albums. Yeah. Like, mm. can't say that one's the one for life. <laughs> I like Starburst sometimes. Sometimes I don't like Starburst. Sometimes I like chocolate. <laughs> I like ice cream. I'm probably into non-dairy ice cream. Are you lactose? Nah. Okay. I, I might be. My wife thinks I am. But I don't think. I don't know. Maybe I'm not. He probably is. But, uh, Do you like candy? I can't tell. <laughs> yes. <Okay. yeah. laughs> he used to have uh, a Willy Wonka card and he could call the number on the Willy Wonka card no matter where he was in the world and have candy delivered. Yeah, it was it was the golden ticket. And you're so like you stayed so skinny. I feel like if I if I like went through that, I think I would I would probably. Um, I was just always very athletic. Active. Yeah. Yeah. And that when I was sense. a kid, my diet was terrible. Really? Um, yeah. So did you I grow up just, like eating fast food and all of oh, that? Oh yes. Yeah. Are Are you so. still like how? What's your like? I mean, I'm not afraid of yeah. fast food. <laughs> I'm like because we only do, talked about it and like, you stayed silent. I enjoy the the spoils of what I do in terms of. Nice yeah. food. Yeah, yeah. Of um, course. Pricey food these days, very mm -hmm. much. I went to, I was actually in Chicago uh, on Thursday and we went to Alinea. And if any foodies out there know what that is, really good. Yes. Have you ever been to like a Michelin restaurant? That's that's three Michelin stars. Oh, okay. Alinea. I up. think they got stick, sick of giving them stars. So it was like, you guys had enough. Yeah. You can't be number one. <laughs> Three's <anymore>. enough. <laughs> yeah. It's that's still good. pretty cool. And they, for the dessert, they do this crazy production it's like almost like theater but they do this production for dessert and they they cover your table in a slab and then they they put all the stuff on it and they're making it all happen yes. and then th they saw my um i did a thing for a complex called snacked mm -hmm. where um you, i got to talk about my favorite candy and snack foods and they they put that on the perimeter Aww. of ours it was they pretty set it up sick. for you that is cool. what's that smarties was there a chocolate skateboard uh, in there? Bit of honey. What's that? Did they put any skateboard stuff in it? They gave us uh, little um, fingerboards That's with their logo on the bottom that they had actually made That's for so us. Cute. It was pretty. You saw that. Yeah. Was yeah. it good? <clears throat> yes. Good okay. Okay. Yes. Because sometimes when they make things like look aesthetic, they're not always the best yeah. tasting. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm glad to hear. Well, that. the skateboards were good. actual fingerboards. Um, oh, oh, but oh, everything oh. else was edible. Okay, gotcha. I'll show. I'll show you a video. I, Please, yeah. I I didn't mean to. <laughs> well, of course here, but it's okay, man. It was I talked good. about fruit roll ups, like it's <laughs> it's True. even Stevens. Five yep. star jerk off over here. 
was coming. <laughs> I'm just bragging about potentially eating a fruit roll up with ice cream in it. Michelin ass. The difference. No, the, like the height of of fine dining for my dad was Sizzler. Oh, ours was Soup Plantation. It's, oh, it's, it still day. would be if it was a, a still the, open. Soup Plantation was was one of the. It was so good. But I, but I think that was one of the the biggest victims of COVID. I mean, I know. Of oh, course, right. I'm not. I'm not. The other victims, but about, food like, wise, food that wise, was our biggest like, loss. It was like that's it. That, I know. You, you're not coming back from that. I know. I, how do you? But I feel like you? now yeah. it would be. F- I I heard that they want to open the other one in the San Diego. Yeah, one. Yeah, my kids were sad when they heard that Super the last one closed, the one in Sanitas. That like, was like a what? childhood memory. Yeah, I used to get Ben Schroeder introduced me to Metallica and weed. And we'd smoke weed in the parking lot and listen to Metallica and then go into Soup Plantation. And he was a giant dude, so he could eat a lot. But I was Australian and high, so I could match him. And I would just live in there. And like, I'd be there My for four hours. My Soup Plantation hack was, you know, they had the brownies. Oh, yes. Put the brownies in the Sunday bowl. Soup Plantation yes. And then do the soft Ice serve over the it. Top. I and then chocolate too. syrup. I and was the like, cookies that they gave you, the brownie cookies. Sunday. Yes. What has happened right now? <laughs> what are we doing? I we're think we're bonding. all hungry. Yeah, yeah okay, sorry. <laughs> we're bonding. Yeah. We're bonding. So there was at, at one point in Oceanside, across the freeway from each other, was Soup Plantation and Soup Exchange. Oh. We should and it reopen. Got, it got You're heated. Hungry. <laughs> we should open one. I would, I would go into that. I would do that. You guys want to, should we do that? Loop let's plantation or something. I've I got to get a better name. That's, let's we do some plantation wanna, backwards. We, we got to add skating be? into it somehow. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Uh, loop, but that, uh, that didn't work. Oh. Loop? Yeah, because the loop. We did. Remember when we did the loop, <laughs> asshole? <laughs> that's, that's how we identify it with the loop. Oh, it's just soup loop. <laughs> it's trying to super Rhyming. loop. Super loop. Super loop. Hey. That was we'll good. be huge, super loop. And then we'll be doing commercials for it. Get down to super loop. Tell Jason Ellis said you like, <laughs> yes, dude. T-shirts. We'll sponsor you. Get you a card. No, no. I want to invest gonna, we, in we have this. To oh, you really, want to be an investor. We got to yeah. get into the nitty gritty of the menu though. Cause we it want, needs there's to be certain a things better. we really got to bring back from that. Yeah. The the pizza, roll you know, the, the focaccia pasta, focaccia pizza. The pasta wasn't even good. That sounds great. Do you know how like the pasta wasn't yeah, even yeah. good, but it like no. was because it was, it was I mean, there. But in the, in the context of everything else, that's what I'm saying. On a buffet, right. it was fine. Yeah, they tried to they tried to make it seem like it was fancy though. I like, know the girl the cooking rigatoni. it. Yeah, like just like no, you're just pouring <laughs> sauce on that. Come on. I know. I loved it. <laughs> I miss it. Oh man, if it was open right now, I'd I'd say let's go after. But it's okay. Sadly, super we're gonna loop. we're gonna come as, coming soon. We're gonna soon. brainstorm super loop later. Okay. Sweet. All right, look at you. You are, you are oh, going yeah, in. Yeah, I'm in yeah. deep. <laughs> it's hard to do the rest of the show. I'm just like, man, fruit roll up, and then you put all the ice cream in it. <laughs> oh my god! Make it look like a. I know what I'm getting you for park. your birthday. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be down. Yeah. I'll be super down. <laughs> hey, Brooklyn, we appreciate you. Thank you yeah. guys. Through um, telling your story, uh, you are truly a warrior, and uh, have the best attitude, and you can tell your skater at heart. Thank through you. all that, maybe maybe something beyond because we're skaters, and I don't think we would handle it like that. <laughs> I'm a hey, minute. Thank you. I've been like, I, I you know I'm up and down. I'm an emotional person. I have tough times sometimes. And watching your Instagram made it, things easier for me. You helped me. Hmm, that means a lot. Because I'm like you know you sit here bitching about something, and then this person's having the best day ever after being at the doctor getting her lips sewed back on. Shut up, Jason. <laughs> Go enjoy your day. You know. That goes True. for all you too. Yeah. Go enjoy your days. Yeah, make the most enjoy of it, your man. Day. Yeah. yeah. I always say hug someone you love today. Aww. Hug someone you love today. Hug someone you love today. It's yeah. cute. Like and describe the person you hug. Ooh, <laughs> see that? This I, guy. Stop. I was trying to weave it all <laughs> no, in. I know. I see what you're doing. Did it work? Love no, it didn't I, work. It worked. It worked. Just all right. Just <laughs> stop. <laughs> Thank week. you. <laughs> Thanks for oh. Oh, like and describe. Press, that's, yeah, our, yeah. that's our thing. Like and just wait, what's the thing without the hug someone? Just say it, like and describe. Like and describe. To a camera. Like and describe.